Hey guys, SSN and Carnum here. This is a game between White Ra and Nama. I have a new intro for you, and it goes a little something like this. Hey guys, I hope you liked that intro. I'm doing things a little bit differently now. Um, I'm going to start partway into the game to just make things move a little bit quicker. And I did bring you in right when the scouting started, right when anything started to go down. We see just a single opening racks for Virus Nama down in the bottom as the green Terran. And up in the top white, top white is Duckload Ra, <laughs> or Right Ra. <laughs> no, this is White Ra, or also known as Duckload Ra as the red Protoss up in the top right. This is a custom match, part of a tournament black dragon something or other. Guys, I don't know anything about it. If you do, please let me know. Virus Nama very, making a very awkward wall. I never, ever, 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 ever like these walls because you can easily break them down, destroy them, and supply block your opponent. So, especially if White Red decides to go Void Rays against Virus Nama here, th this is bad for him. So, getting two early marines before getting the tech lab so we might see marauders out of him we might see reapers who knows i'm not going to speculate getting that zealot out to defend against the scout <laughs> you shouldn't lose a scout to a zealot that's silly because um, a zealot can be kite by workers all day long so you can easily micro away from them the marine knows that a zealot is out so it will pull back i guess he was testing the field making sure that white Rock couldn't take this tower here but, uh, so White was gonna push out with his first Zealot, see what he can do. Probably gonna chrono out a Stalker, yes. So this is the trademark Protoss early pressure that White Ra loves so much. Probably getting a, se a second Stalker very shortly. Oh, going for the Sentry instead, making me look silly. Is wh what is White, Ra White Ra gonna do with that Pylon? I can't even speculate, not paying attention to his Zealot, but there he goes, he grabs it now. And uh, he's going to push up the ramp. There's a bunker there now. So I guess he's just going to chill outside. But th at the very least, he'll probably poke up, see what's at the top of the ramp, because he currently doesn't know. But he's waiting for that stalker, because he can't do anything without it. So here he goes up the ramp. He sees there's a bunker and two supply depots. He knows he can't get in at all. Had the Terran player not walled, he would have lost both his m Marines more than likely. But he is walled with that bunker, so he is safe. And there's the Reaper. I did speculate correctly. Going to lose a century to the Reaper. That Reaper has already more than paid for itself. However, it is long overstayed its welcome at only 3 HP. Not going to be able to do any more damage. So probably just going to take the towers. But it's got to be very careful that it doesn't run into that Stalker. If it makes contact with the Zealot, the Zealot will kill it. But he's got a micro. This is keeping... Virus Nama out of his base. Here comes a Stalker to save the day. One shot saving that Zealot's life. Taking that Reaper down. So, Duckload Ra now taking his expansion. Which, you know, this this probe here is spotting for this expansion. So he knows that he's well ahead of Virus Nama in terms of resources. Well, he's setting himself up to be, I should say. Currently, he has to defend that dead spot. Because Virus Nama, because he's not expanding, he will be far ahead of... White Rot in just military, getting that siege tank out already with siege tech on the way, getting Hellions, going to try and punish White Rot for taking that expansion, I can only imagine. Pushing out here, not even going to see the probe, which is funny to me, but he's going to see the Stalker on the Watchtower, so the, the Stalker does know this is coming, although I hope White Rot was watching the minimap, he will know now that his Stalker pulled off the tower for something, and uh, White Rot is going to have to get in position to deal with that if he loses any of these sentry to that hellion it's gonna be a real pain in the ass but he should be good with force fields he should be able to trap that hellion somewhere putting a pile on here i like that because even virus nama won't know it's there and uh he, ooh, here comes the hellion what's gonna go down that hellion is not gonna be able to push in does he have i thought it you know he doesn't have the pre-igniter okay so he only has siege tech i find it odd that the little end flare glows blue even when it doesn't have igniter. But anyway, that Hellion goes down and uh, Observer out for White Rock. I like that early Observer. Getting that before getting six gates. So he's on four gate Robo. Um, interesting build. Don't see that very often. I'd be curious as to whether he gets um, 
Robotech, or he just sticks to Gateway. It looks like he's going to get some Gateway tech. Probably will be dropping more gates in the future. And uh, let me go down here to the Terran player. Finally getting his Expo up. Very quickly saturating. He probably built it in his base. I didn't catch it. But he's got two bunkers up here with Siege tech. That is an impenetrable second at the moment. White Row will have to get a lot more. And uh, we're going to see Banshees getting Cloak as well. Already got his engineering bay. Very strong play against Protoss. That'll protect him from Void Rays, DTs, um, his, and the Observers. Keep that in mind. The missile turrets are kind of oddly placed. He's got nothing here. Um, he does have one here, so that's good. But definitely not, not much protection on the mineral line itself. So the interesting placement. I guess he wants to protect entry points from Observers. So we're going to see Zealots. Uh, this is cool. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought he was going to drop them here and break down the rock so he could get more surface. But I'm uh, uh, just going to pick those up. This looks like it's going to be a drop from White Rock. But th the Banshee and the Warp Prism are going to run into each other. This is funny to me. Uh, I wonder... <laughs> White Rock is watching, and so was Virus Nama. So both players know that something is coming. So Virus Nama is going to come over here, and this drop is going to be completely nulled. And over here, Virus Nama is not going to do anything with that Banshee just yet, microing this. White Run knows that he sees him there, so he's not going to drop. So good cautious play by both players. Here comes the Banshee, and White Run does have OBS somewhere. I don't see his observer. There it is. Okay, I'm just blind that and it's cloaked I, <laughs> that is mildly an, an excuse so we are seeing weapons one for white rope yeah it's just weapons one and blink almost done so that's great and thermal lance on its way we have another banshee coming down the right side of the map and the warp prism just kind of scouting the map i really like that play um if he loses it you know if it gets caught above a bunch of marines there are lots of spaces here that you can get away from that ground army so very interesting Putting up a missile turret here, and that's probably going to pay for itself if White Rock tries to push in here. Um, those supply depots are in a very interesting place. White Rock will see it. We'll be able to drop some zealots here, but he's going to go straight for the line. The missile turret shooting at that war prism, giving it away that it exists right away, and picking up those zealots, trying to get out of there, but the marines might get it. Uh, he's going to drop those zealots because he knows the war prism is probably going to go down, but the, <laughs> the splash damage from the siege tanks doing damage to the... SCV line for Virus Nama. And uh, White Rat pushing down here quickly. I'm not sure what his plan is for these stalkers. They're not going to be able to do much with all those bio and siege tanks down there. Bringing his OBS as well. I really hope the OBS doesn't get sniped by that missile turret. But once again, uh, supply depot placement for Virus Nama is very inviting for supply block. And I've been saying that from the start. I don't understand the choices. But here comes the army. Good spotting by White Row with the Observer. And blinks down to the low ground to get it away. Does lose his Observer. It was detected by the missile turret. And it was able to be sniped. But I think that was a fair trade. 100 minerals for 25 minerals, 75 gas. Mm, you guys tell me. But anyway, he is putting the pressure on. He is making Virus Nama uncomfortable, which is all you need to do. White Row taking his third. Always fast on those Expos. Always good with the pressure without losing units. Very cautious, very careful. And uh, I'm very impressed by White Rose's play. Also very impressed by Virus Nama's play. You know, warding, warding all of White Rose's little pokes and prods. Spotting that Warp Prism with his Banshee play. I mean, Banshees are great harass, but they make great scouts. And that's what we've seen here. Still keeping up with the Banshees and using them to just scout the midground. And like I said with the Warp Prism, there's tons of places to avoid Stalkers. However, the Stalkers do now have Blink, and that could pro pose a problem for Virus Nama if his um, Banshees ever get caught at a position. And so, why are we going to be pushing down here? Siege Tanks are murder against Stalkers, so I'm not sure what his plan is. And I don't know what was coming down here. I did not see that Zealots, but I don't know where they came from. And Virus Nama, I guess, got out of siege position so that he could avoid doing splash damage to his mineral line. And now he's going to push out and break these rocks just so he can take his third at the gold expo, which is a great choice. These Banshees are doing some pylon harass. They're going to see 
the probe transfer here, getting one probe kill. Blink going down under those Banshees, losing those Banshees to the Observer and the Stalkers. So good play by Whitera. And this could really pay for itself. Virus Nama now on the gold. will be able to strip mine this with mules. Um, he does have energy on at least this one. There we go. We're seeing some mules now. The SCV transfer coming down. This is going to be just key. I mean, White Red does have his third as well, but it is not a gold expansion. Um, keep in mind, I think it's six mineral patches, and we have one, two, th yeah, we have eight mineral patches here. So that's nice. But uh, White Red poking and prodding at this. Siege tanks shelling half the army, backing up wisely. White Red cannot take this with the army he has, especially with this Raven here. <laughs> Three Colossus out for White Red, though. That is going to be key in harassing this expansion and uh, we got 13 range on siege tanks and only 9 for Colossus I believe yeah so even with Colossus he can't push against those siege tanks the way he might want to he will be able to harass the army that is out of range of the siege tanks though so this is going to take very careful decision making by White Red if he does choose to push down here like he is it's very possible that he'll get caught out of position and be able to be sandwiched by the Terran army but the Terran army now forced to pull away from his siege tank position blinking up onto the high ground Colossus coming up into the main and it looks like he's just gonna go for a counter attack instead of production protecting his uh, production with his sentries here he might be able to, t to delay um, the Banshee's cloaked here I don't know how this is gonna go down White Ridge is tearing through the production <laughs> virus nama's got to stop sitting around and he's got to just there we go he's pushing in now but it took him a long time to decide and he's gonna snipe the second white Rose somehow got his probes out of there i think um the supply count is now highly in duckload raw's favor and hopefully he decides to either cancel this yeah he's got to cancel that but he's paying more attention to this i believe sniping a lot of valuable tech the fusion core down here for BCs I'm not sure why you would ever go BCs against Protoss but anyway both players trading hard however I believe Whitera has the stronger army out currently getting use out of his warp gates before <laughs> building more warp gates as well as Twilight down here that's funny and Whitera taking a surprise third here this is a new third and pylons all over the map. I mean, Virus Nama will never be able to base trade him like this. But 